What's going on everybody? Uh, just doing a follow-up video for my PFSense video from a while back. <clears throat> it's gotten a handful of views and people seem to like it, so I figured I'd do a, a follow-up, see where I've gotten after having some issues on the hardware side. Um, so it's been a few months, uh, what, six, eight months, something like that, since uh, I built that router. And uh, since then I've kind of gotten everything dialed into how I want everything to work and ran into only one minor issue uh, nothing to do with PF Sense. it's actually just I ran into a hardware bottleneck um, because of Clam AV um, which is going to result in us needing to we're going to do a CPU upgrade so got a little <clears throat> Xeon E3 here we're going to stick that into the system and uh, replace that little dual core Athlon or excuse me not Athlon uh, dual core uh, Pentium that's in there right now so as far as the actual system goes, you can see here, these are the packages I have installed on it. Um, we've got Squid. I don't have Squid Guard running at the moment. Um, it was doing some things I didn't want it to do, I guess is the best way to put it. So i got to do some tuning and tweaking on that before I start running it again. Uh, but I do have caching working, and I do have um, the antivirus portion of working, which is where Clam AV comes in, and why we're going to upgrade the, C Excuse me, upgrade the CPU. Basically what's going on is if we download something, and we'll just use Arma 2 as an example here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Once it actually starts downloading, I run into a situation where if we watch down near the bottom, CPU gets maxed out and I ended up starting to cap out on my speeds. Now you'll see it usually starts off pretty high and then it'll just fall right on its face after a minute. There it goes. So and that seems to kind of tie in with CPU usage. Um, I've tested it with Clam AV turned off and it'll maintain that near 300 megabit per second speeds but it won't do that anymore obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to stop the download. Alright, so the plan here, well, hopefully this will work. If not, well, we got an extra, extra CPU horsepower for no reason, but eh, it's okay. Um, so the plan, we'll put this new CPU in, see what happens, and see if we can maintain that 300 megabits per second the entire time the downloads going on now, it's not just steam I'm having this issue with I'm having this issue with pretty much anything coming in that uses up or tries to use up uh, maximum bandwidth so we'll see what happens I'll be back in a minute um, after I get the CPU swapped out all right got the little Xeon processor installed in our motherboard here's the little dual core Pentium that came out 3.3 gigahertz uh, 3260 um, these little Pentiums don't even have any turbo boosting or anything so they're not you know they're not uh, terribly fast for regular um, regular usage you know it probably would have been fine you know for regular routing and stuff it's complete and total overkill it's just that clam AV and stuff some of the packages you can put on PFSense just chew up a lot of bandwidth or excuse me a lot of CPU horsepower um, one of the things I want to do in the not too distant future too is set up my own VPN and uh, with the encryption and everything this this processor is going to come in extra handy too with the extra <coughs> encryption uh, instruction sets on it so now that we've got a uh, got everything all torn apart let's go ahead and get her put back together and get it fired up and see how see how she does all right all right, and I went ahead and started t doing the test download, and we're holding a pretty constant 300-ish megabits per second, and CPU usage has been floating between about 50 and 60 percent. So I think we got ourselves a winner. Yeah, I mean I could have gone in and made some edits to Clam AV, but by just giving this system the extra horsepower that it needed, I no longer have to worry about potentially accidentally opening up a hole for something to come slipping through. You know, it's just that little extra layer of protection to protect my entire uh, home network here. 
So yeah, I think uh, I think this little experiment was successful. You know, it cost a couple bucks, but eh, it's only money, right? Can't take it with you. Might as well spend it. All right. So other than that, I mean, the rest of the PF Sense router is pretty much as we saw it before um, in the original video. The only thing I've changed is I took out the uh, four-port network card that was in there. Um, the way my network is set up now, I've got now that I've got that new switch and everything up there, I don't really need that four-port card in there anymore. So it's out. We'll be selling it pretty soon. And uh, now I just got the one LAN port running into my main switch, and everything else runs off the switch. So kind of streamlined this little box a little bit, makes things run a little bit smoother. Oop, we got a little dip there for some reason. Oh. Looks like the download just finished, actually. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you, anybody's got any questions or anything, by all means, you know, leave comments down below. I'll try to answer and point you in the right direction if I can. Um, other than that, you know, have a good day, everybody. Thank you.